Hello, hello, hello ladies! I am back with a first impression, quick review on the new Milani Rose Blushes. And I got home from work and I definitely wanted to get this video up for you guys because I posted a picture on my Instagram and you girls went crazy. I have been stalking Walgreens, CVS, and whatever other store possible for these blushes for the past two weeks. And I finally, like on my lunch break, literally was like, Mm -hmm. Walgreens, no, any, any, money, mo. Okay, let's go. So I pulled in. As soon as I walked in, bam, there they were. It looks like on the display there's only three sets because there's four shades, and it looks like there's only three. They're limited edition, and I grabbed them all without even thinking. I just flipped them and made sure they were all different. They were six ninety nine, so seven dollars each. Checked out. The lady was like, "I was thinking about getting these," and I'm like, "Milani has awesome blushes. You should probably pick up the last three I left back there." I want to show you guys. A little bit of what the previous Milani blushes look like so you guys can see how they've gone from one to another and now to the rose one so these are the little ones these these here are discontinued you guys can probably find these on Amazon this is the color luminous I wore this earlier but I actually wiped it off and I do have one of the new ones on my cheeks now but this is a gorgeous luminous color then there's pink craze sunset beach and there are other ones but those are the little ones and then the ones that you guys could probably find at like CVS or Walmart right now is the um, baked, what are they called? Milani Baked Blushes. And this is in the color Berry Amour, one of my top favorites. This one here is called Dol, I don't know if it's, I would say Dulce because I'm Mexican. I would say like candy, but it's Dulce, like Italian or something like that, I would say. But that's what they look like. Some of these have shimmer. Some of them are, got the little swirl thing going because they are baked. And this is Luminoso. This is also a very, very famous color there. So that's what those look like. So then when you grab one of the new ones that is this big and you put it next to this one or even the baked one here, that is ginormous. I wanted to do side by side so you guys can see. I'm not sure what these uh, cost when they were out, but I want to say maybe like three or four dollars because I think one of them came with a sticker from like when they were out at the store. These are about eight dollars. I've seen them at some CVS's for nine dollars. And look at the size of this here, and that was seven ninety nine. I think on the website that's or sorry six ninety nine. That's how much it showed on the website too. So there again, you guys kind of get an idea of the sizes. I was very excited to come home and play with these because I have loved all the other Milani blushes. I did take some pictures with the flash and without a flash and I'll be inserting them here or at the end of the video or somewhere around the video so you guys can see what they look like because sometimes my ring light or all my lights around here wash out the colors. I did have them, okay well they're gone, I did swatch them on my hand here so you guys can see. The first color here is Flora Passion. It's beautiful, it's like a, I would say like a uh, baby rose looking color. Then we have this one that kind of looks like a bronzer and this is in the color Warm Petals. And let me hold these two side by side so that you guys can get an idea. Then there is the color Bella Rosa, which is also another pink, but this one's more of like a washed out pink. And then we have Romantic Rose. So now let me hold these two up for you guys. So now let me tell you a little bit about them. I'm actually disappointed. And I know that a lot of you guys are like, no! Looking like the little Home Alone kid. But oh my god, Milani, if you guys are watching, I love you. But, but, but seriously, all the pinks pretty much look the same. Like, these here literally look like the same, but let me start off by saying that you're going to have to apply quite a bit to get some color payoff on these. Um, the color Bella Rosa is a chalky pink, and this barely shows up on my face. So if you guys are darker than me, and I'm pretty light, you guys are going to have no use for this. I am so, so sad to be breaking the bad news to you guys. The other one is called Flora Passion. And this is a little more pigmented. And it's a little, like, shade darker than that one. So I would suggest picking this one up instead of that one, maybe. It's pink, but not as chalky. 
Then the Romantic Rose is what I have on my cheeks right now. And I did kind of just gently wipe off whatever blush I was wearing underneath. And then I just slapped this one on. I'm not sure how this is coming up on camera. But this is probably the one I like the most. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Barrier More just without the shimmer. And um, let me swatch this one right down it's right up here so this one has a little more colors and of course I haven't blended it out right there so obviously it's more pigmented right there but once you blend it out you're gonna lose the color that's why I say you guys are gonna have to probably cake this on quite a bit and then lastly is the color warm petals and this is more of like I would say a bronze looking color this has a little very 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 little speckles of speckles sparkles of gold in it and it kind of gives like an orangey color I don't know if you guys can see that there but like I said I'm going to have the uh, swatches somewhere around here and Chanel wants to say hi to you guys because mommy's been neglecting her since she got home say hi baby say hi so I honestly think that most of, of these uh, pink looking ones all swatch the same Especially um, Flora Passion and Bella Rosa, they literally are identical with the exception that Bella Rosa is a little chalkier. If you guys are going to pick up any of them, I would probably tell you guys to pick up Romantic Rose. This one is probably the only one that I really loved and it's because it kind of reminds me a little bit of my Berry Amour without the shimmer in it. And this one here, the Warm Petals, is more of like an orangey color, so maybe a bronzer. So this is not going to work for anybody with fair or light skin or if you guys are you know, a little darker or tanned, it might not even show up. So the color payoff is not the greatest, and I'm sorry to kind of disappoint you guys, but you guys know that I'm only going to come on here and tell you my honest thoughts and opinions, and, I'm, you know, that's what I'm doing. I'm here to review these. So I would suggest maybe just picking one up, especially if you guys have a store where you can't return stuff. I would hate for you guys to pick up all four and you take them home and you're like, Okay, well, they all look the same. Why did I buy them all? So, like I said, again, the only one that I think is worthy of the $6 is the Romantic Rose. I'll probably keep two of them, three of them max, but I'm going to be returning the chalky-looking one. I know that you guys were super excited for this, and I probably just bursted all your little bubbles, but I just want to kind of save you money and let you know that they're not all that, and I'm sad to say that because the other Milani blushes are amazing. I even tried to apply them with two different brushes thinking it might be that but the color payoff is not the greatest and you should not have to cake on a blush I feel like they're a little powdery so thank you guys for watching and I hope that this was helpful and that you guys still enjoyed it even though it was a mm, 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 with the exception of one thanks for watching Mwah. bye ladies